Hey bros, welcome to the Steroid Journals. This is a video series where I kind of chronicle my step-by-step -step involvement with anabolic steroids from, from researching them, to deciding to use them, to buying them, to actually using them, what my results were, all that kind of shit. Um, what this video series is not, and I wanna make this clear, is me advocating the use of them, me giving advice about them. At no point am I gonna say, this is what you should or shouldn't use, or this is where you should or shouldn't buy in. This is just me telling you what I've done. You can just take that for what it is. Uh, if you want to use that to inform your own decisions, that's on you. I'm not looking to get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble. This is just a video series where I'm telling you what I've done. Where we last left off, I had just finished my PCT from my first cycle. And so now I was off cycle. And to clarify, when you are on cycle, that is usually about two and a half to three months. When you're off cycle, that needs to be about another two and a half to three months, about the same length of time. The reason for that is when you're on cycle, you're injecting this testosterone into your body. So your body is like, well, fuck, I don't need to produce this shit anymore. So it shuts down production of testosterone. And then when you come off of cycle, that's the whole point of PCT is to ease your body back into producing its own testosterone so that when you're off cycle for two and a half to three months or whatever, your body is now back to functioning, producing its own testosterone. So you should not at any point be starting a second cycle until at least two and a half to three months after you've ended your first cycle. I knew I had at least two and a half to three months to make my decision. I was on one hand really excited about doing a second cycle because I enjoyed the gains. I was looking forward to getting even better gains by following PCT protocol even a little better. Having done my research afterwards, I learned that I could have been a little more thorough with PCT than I already was and could have kept more than 15 pounds, maybe 20 or 25. I was looking forward to that aspect. One thing I was not looking forward to, one reason why I decided maybe a second cycle is too much for me is I didn't like feeling like I was being dishonest. Now, I was wasn't going around lying. People weren't asking me, hey, are you using steroids? And me saying, no, I'm not. That was not happening. Nobody was asking me that question. People were just saying, hey, wow, you're gaining a lot of muscle recently. Good job. And then I was saying, well, thanks. And I kind of felt like I was being dishonest. Like, well, I'm gaining all this muscle because of the steroids. I'm just a naturally extremely honest to a fault kind of person. So I felt like I almost should be telling people, well, the reason why I'm gaining all this muscle is because of anabolic steroids. But you can't go around telling people that. So I wasn't, and I felt like I was being dishonest about it, and I didn't look forward to going through that again for another six months, three months on cycle, three more months off cycle. I couldn't make up my mind one way or the other. Before I even bought anything for my first cycle, before I had completely made up my mind I was gonna go ahead and do it, I had mentioned to my housemate, I live with one of my best friends and his girlfriend, and I thought if anything goes completely wrong, I want him to know that I I am using anabolic steroids just in case worst case scenario shit happens. So I was like, hey, by the way, I'm thinking about doing this. I was having this conversation with my friend who's a bodybuilder and he was saying this and that. And so I'm thinking about it. And my housemate, who is one of those guys who has used basically every illegal drug out there. And so he should be the least judgmental making this decision. He didn't react very well. He was like, that seems like a terrible idea. What about all those side effects and he brought up all of the stuff that's out there that people say like a roid rage and you know it'll shrink your testicles and enlarge your organs and all this stuff and I mean there's plenty of valid concerns for sure Roid rage is not one of them. That's completely false. He also brought up the, well, you're injecting something into a vein and then an air bubble can get in there and kill you. I didn't want to argue with him about that. I mean, I already knew at this point that that was not what you did. You do not inject steroids into a vein. You inject them into the muscle tissue. But even if you were, the amount of air that you could fit in that syringe is not going to kill you. I just let him kind of think that he won, that I decided I wasn't 
gonna do it after all. But that definitely kind of informed my decisions to tell people going forward. I wasn't gonna come out and tell anybody. Um, although when I finished PCT, I kind of thought, well, I feel almost like I owe it to him. Like now that it's all over and I didn't have anything horrible happen, I feel like I was kind of in a way being dishonest because he was under the impression I decided not to do it. So I kind of brought it up in a roundabout kind of way. I forget what we're talking about, but something maybe about injectable or whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's kind of like how people out there think that you're injecting steroids into a vein, but you're not. You're actually injecting it into muscle tissue. And so that's not an actual concern about an air bubble. And I was like, you know, because by the way, I did end up deciding to do it and my cycle was finished. And he was like, oh yeah, I figured. But he didn't have anything negative to say about it. He didn't have anything to say about it, period. But I could just tell that he was not amused. I was like, alrighty then, I guess I'm not going to be telling anybody else unless they ask me directly. And sure enough, that happened. I was hanging out with a friend. We were talking about um, workouts and stuff. And he was like, oh, hey, by the way, if you ever use steroids? And I was like, actually, yes, you're the first person to ask me. So you're the first person I'm telling like this. But yep, definitely finished my first cycle recently. He didn't really have anything negative or positive to say about it. He was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, somebody at my CrossFit gym uses steroids. And so I was just curious. The third person, the only reason why that came up is because this is a huge bodybuilder guy and he annoys me kind of because on his Instagram says he's natural and then he hashtags natural with everything and he is obviously not natural. I kind of joked with him about it. First of all, I came out and just was straight up with him and was like, oh yeah, thinking about starting my second cycle. He was like, oh yeah, what, what are you going to use? And I told him what I was thinking about and then I was like, well, what have you used? And he did not respond. And then he was saying something in a completely different conversation about about how he was got all aggressive about something or other and I was like yeah well trend will do that won't it and he was like oh hey I don't use trend that's just too harsh for me I'm still a new and I was like so you do admit that you use something. He still won't fully admit it, even to me, even to a friend of his that he knows uses uh, anabolic steroid. It's just annoying. He's not a bad person for lying about it. And these guys out there who are lying about it aren't terrible people or whatever. There's a reason why they've got to lie about it. It's illegal. They don't want to get in trouble by going around telling everybody they're doing something illegal, right? I basically did end up deciding I am definitely going to do a second cycle as far as what that second cycle is going to consist of. I hadn't made up my mind. I was talking about it with my bodybuilder friend and he was like, well, you want to do human growth hormone, of course, and insulin. And in case you didn't know, besides just testosterone and other anabolics out there, there are all kinds of other things that these huge guys are doing. And I'm not ready for any of that kind of shit. I don't think I'll ever be ready for like insulin probably never will be ready for human growth hormone either. The next video will be about me deciding exactly what I wanted to do. The fact that when I went to purchase it, the place that I had originally bought from didn't exist anymore. So finding a new place was a whole new adventure. We'll get to that in the next video. See you bros then. Bye.